So, I tried Linux. Yep. Okay, so a lot of people find Linux really hard to use when looking from third party sources, but honestly, with my experience, it was not bad, especially if you're just doing like basic home user stuff like watching videos, um, writing documents, and stuff like that. It's really easy to learn and very, very, very simple. <laughs> So let's go ahead and get into my experience with using Ubuntu Linux and let's get into it. Okay, so Linux is very similar to an Android device. Um, basically, depending on the distro you use, you'll have a different experience. Like, sort of like if you buy a Samsung phone, it will be different to per se an LG or um, Moto or something like that. We're gonna go with Ubuntu basically because it's kind of the most popular distro out there so more than likely you know it would have the best support most um it would have like the most features compared to like a regular home compute computer and finally it seems to just be the most likely to have the best hardware support and speaking of hardware i didn't install a bunch of my main computer because for some reason i guess amd gpu does not want to work unless i were to boot into save graphics and i didn't really want to go into all the tinkering of that so i have this hp chromebook g6 it has an i3-8145, 8 gigabytes of RAM, a 120 gigabyte SSD, and it's a laptop, so it's portable. So let's go ahead and get into the install. Basically, first off, you need a flash drive with at least four gigabytes of storage. In order to install Ubuntu, you need to grab the ISO from the link down below. And when you plug it into your device, after, of course, you install the ISO onto the USB drive, you go ahead and turn on your computer, go into the boot menu, choose your flash drive that you want to boot off of, and go right into Ubuntu. So basically, when you first boot up your ass, either choose to install Ubuntu straight up, or if you'd like to test it out and give it a try, you can actually run it off of the USB stick, that way you can, you know, give Ubuntu a chance without actually reformatting your hard drive or possibly deleting whatever data you have already stored. Next, choose your keyboard layout, then choose the type of install you'd want to do. I left it on default because I wanted the full experience, and I wanted to get all the pre-included apps to see how much bloatware there really was. Then I let it choose to delete the hard drive and install Ubuntu, choose the time zone, and then finally set up your account. Now, we let it install, it takes around about 10 minutes or so, but once you finish letting it install, it should reboot and it will go right into Ubuntu. Um, I'd like to state also the times are basically the same. I installed this on an SSD, um, an M.2 SSD, and a physical like laptop hard drive. All three of those took around 10-ish minutes to install, and seemingly the responsiveness is good for all of them, even those slow hard drives. So at this point, I did notice that everything was there, which kind of surprised me when I saw that my Wi-Fi drivers were already there, my webcam drivers, all the USB ports, everything worked. The webcam, it was all there, like even, even the battery was there. So. I was kind of happy with that. I was like, hey, so I get the full experience. It's not like, uh, you know, this being not even a Windows laptop, even though it's based off of Windows, you know, it's not going to give me all my stuff, is it? I was going to have to buy a Wi-Fi adapter, all this. But no, it all worked completely fine. So there are two things I did notice right off the bat. Um, number one, it had Firefox install, which is a lot better than Edge. But unfortunately, I didn't like Firefox, so I went right there and tried to download Chrome. Also, I don't like how my computer was automatically set into military time. It was kind of a give or take. Um, I'm an AMPM person, so I went ahead and changed that in the settings. But when I went to go install Chrome, I noticed something a little bit different. So instead of like a .exe, which is for Windows, or a .bmg, which is for Mac, we have a .dd, which is dev file. Um, it's for Ubuntu-based machines. Um, different distros have different types of main file formats, but so far, dd is the main one for Ubuntu. So what does someone really do on a laptop? Um, watch videos, um, edit documents, and gaming. 
So I decided, you know what, we're gonna install a couple of games and see if they even install. So I went ahead and installed Steam. And the only really actual like popular game I play is probably Minecraft and Rocket League. So I tried downloading Rocket League and my issue with that was Epic Games bought Rocket League, so they cut off support for Mac OS and Linux for some stupid reason, which I find really dumb because a lot of people play Rocket League and it, it's just weird. And on top of that, a lot of Steam apps aren't even supported on Linux. It's really weird because I've been seeing a lot recently that, oh, Linux is great for gaming and it's becoming so much better, but I'm not seeing any of this. But Let's go ahead and ignore Steam. Let's go ahead and move on to Minecraft because Minecraft actually ran. You know, it actually ran. It had no real FPS loss compared to Windows, and it was great. Even Minecraft's um, third-party clients worked, so I really like that. Also, on top of that, there's a beta, or not really a beta, more or less just like a Linux-created ecosystem where Minecraft Bedrock Edition, which is the version of Minecraft you can run on your phone. Windows computer, um, Xbox, and etc. All have, a, I can download that version on Linux, it works fine. Same thing on Mac. So I tried installing Epic Games, but for some reason they don't have support for anything other than Windows. Anything other than Windows is just kind of lame. So to get around that, I ended up using GeForce Now. Very reliable, easy to use. Um, I, had, I had to use Chrome as their like Chromebook option or whatever, but it worked. Adobe apps were not supported at all. Um, there's there's no plan in the future for support, so I'm kind of out of luck. I couldn't find any good port. I couldn't do really anything. So I did end up finding like alternatives to it, but they're not as good as like Adobe Premiere or something like that. Um, so to get around that, I did end up doing something that Linux is actually kind of good at doing. Um, creating virtual machines, even with single GPUs passed through on my laptop, worked fine. <laughs> Um, I was able to install Adobe. Uh, performance was kind of like maybe 70% as good as just running on the host, but it, it, it ran Adobe. I was fine with that. As long as I can save my projects, I can export them out on my main computer, which does not take much time at all. So um, one thing I did mention at the beginning of the video was their free apps. Their free apps are actually great. They have, a, it's called Libri, so it's kind of like the Microsoft or Google. Um, you know, Microsoft Word or Google Docs, stuff like that. This Ubuntu's version, those apps, basically. Very easy to use, and you can edit documents so much better in a lot of different ways. Obviously, it's up to personal preference, but it does work. So, in conclusion, Ubuntu is actually easy to use, easy to set up, and works for about 75% of my workflow. Um, I definitely would recommend using Ubuntu if, you know, you wanted to, like, get into Linux, but you don't want to, like, have to live that much. Um, really great ecosystem, had a lot of support, and overall, I think for the average home person who doesn't want to have Windows or Mac, the design's great, app support's okay, and yeah, that's about it. If you guys did enjoy the video, go ahead and hit the like button, subscribe if you guys want to see more. I'm trying to get 200 subscribers by the end of the year. With that being said, um, yeah, thanks for watching. Epic Games, three, two, one. I tried installing the Epic. <laughs> so I tried installing the Epic. I tried installing the Epic. Okay. Three, two, one. So I tried installing the Epic. I installed. I tried installing. I tried installing Epic Games and.